Okay, day three of my fast, and I'm feeling great. Fasting is good training because your mental acuity and ability to concentrate may be compromised by nutrient deficiencies in apocalyptic situations. It is imperative that your mental cognition remain intact while under duress. Fasting. Fasting is imperative for mental... The story began with a man and a woman in a plan. Apocalypse was coming, so they bought a van. It's for mobility and troubled times, said the van man. They sold their stuff and grabbed a friend and hit the road and ran again. Now they're cooking, sleeping, washing, waiting on Armageddon. Van living ain't so easy when it's 2012, you're dreading. Look, um, a lot of you can't just do what my wife and I did and, and move into a uh, top-notch survival vehicle, but there are other ways to survive the apocalypse. We pay her enough in rent, we should get bomb shelter privileges. We might not make rent this month. What? We don't have rent? How, what'd you make today? Two dollars. Two dollars? Two dollars! It's slow. Apocalypse training starts tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. sharp. Be there, be square. Oh. I can't, babe. Dale and I start our dance-off training tomorrow morning. What dance-off? The dance-off I was telling you about. The flea market is sponsoring a dance-off for the homeless. It's a $20 donation or, or a 40 can goods. $20 donation? We don't have $20. Come on. I thought maybe we could just donate some of our canned goods. The apocalypse rations? Are you crazy? How was work? I got laid off. What? But it's okay. As Milton Burrow once said, if opportunity doesn't knock, build a door! A plastic bag door? No, we're gonna be recyclers. Meeker, we can go through the trash later. Come on, we're here to recycle. Nora, remember her? She sells scented oils. Well, she needs a place to stay. I mean, it's just temporarily until she gets on her feet. Maybe you all could take her on. Well, like a roommate? You really didn't need to cook for us, Nora. Well, I wanted to just thank you guys for letting me stay here for a little bit. Exactly how long is a little bit? Let's take a large, deep inhale from here. From the crotch? From here. This roommate thing is gonna work out pretty good, huh, Blue? I don't know, babe. It's, it's pretty cramped in here. I think I'm losing Greeley. What are you talking about, hon? Things just haven't been the same since she's been there. Well, have you tried the costumes, like I said? Guys love girls in well, costumes. Yeah, I've tried. <laughs> But she's just always around! Well, now that's not good, honey. You need your alone time. I think it's time that I take matters into my own hands. The apocalypse! It's the apocalypse! What? It's the apocalypse! Everybody get ready! What, what are you gonna do? Can I play it? Get up! Calm down! Can I play Listen, it? I want you to go to the hill. Go to the hill! Go to the hill! Get ready on traffic! Okay? Nora, Nora, listen. Right. You go in there, you get the food supplies. Okay? Watch the Water levels. Mobile phone service. Mobile-cane-secure-all-loose-objects! How are we looking at us? Traffic's good in all directions. I say we go east. Okay, everybody in. No, what are you doing? What's the water levels? I don't know. You closed the roof of my blanket. I need my blanket. It's 100% bamboo. You're going to get us killed. The food's all good. We're all stopped. Okay. All good, off. Wait, wait, wait. It's just a drill. <laughs> what? What? It's just a drill. I think we have to ask Nora to leave. What? Yeah. Oh, babe. I, 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 but, I don't Babe, know. she's <laughs> too much of a liability. I love you, Bluista. I love you, Greeley, Louie. Really.